Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, downgrade your uh, Samsung S20 FE uh, firmware. Okay, so uh, downgrading is uh, problematic because um, first we'll need to go to the phone Mm, okay, I don't have it set up, so I'm just gonna set it up and I'm gonna show you. Okay, now I have it set up, so I can just go to the settings. And now it's gonna be problematic because uh, when you go to About Phone, uh, then you can go to Software Information, and now there's gonna be a baseband version, right? Um, so in the baseband version, uh, it is um, at the beginning you have the modal number so in my case it's G781B then there's double X and then there's either S or U it doesn't matter whether it's S or U because they both mean the same thing um, and after that S or U you have a letter one letter the other letters don't matter just the first letter that's after S or U um, and in my case it's H and it's the version of the bootloader that's currently there and you cannot downgrade your system below that current version of the bootloader. So now we're gonna search for our firmware. So I'm just gonna type in G781B firmware because that's um, like the modal. And I just need to find it. I'm gonna go to some FW website because that's where the downloads are the fastest, you know. Um, and now we're gonna select a country. Uh, if you want to have this, you know, the same version of the system, like, you know, the, the country and the carrier version, then you can just scroll down in here and see service provider software version. You can see in my case it's OPV, so I'm gonna get the OPV. I can just type it in, but you can just type in your country, right? And you can also do it that way. Um, I'm gonna select the OPV, but I could also select XEO because XEO uh, for Polish code It's gonna be the clean version without the carrier. You can get whatever you want. Honestly, it doesn't doesn't matter mm, but now We're gonna have different versions and you can see here the uh, letter after S is A so it goes in an alphabetical order A is a older version than uh, H. So this is where the problem is. I cannot get the A version because it's too old for my system. Now there's also some versions that are like 7, 8, uh, they are even older because it goes first from uh, goes, goes from 1 you can see the oldest versions are one, then there's two, then there's three and four, and uh, some other ones. Uh, then when the letters fin numbers finish, then it starts with letters, and it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then H. And since I have the H, I cannot downgrade my phone to an older version than H. Um, because there is going to be an error and I'm going to show you that error, uh, show you how it looks and then um, I'm just going to tell you um, how to flush your phone but as I said you will be only able to flush it with a version that is current or newer in um, comparison with your baseband version. So now we're gonna get to that. I'm just gonna, you know, get back to you when I have the error. Okay, so now it's in the process of downloading. I'm just gonna uh, show you, uh, like, before I get to, you know, the wrong version, uh, that if you want to flush it, because we can already start the downloading, right? Uh, let's go to the newest version because this is the only version I can get. Of course, uh, you can see there may be, like, for example, um, to D versions and then of course you can get the older D version if you have the newer D version installed uh, but uh, only within that revision so um, yeah 
And now, uh, yeah, if you want to download the version that is compatible with your phone, just click here. Then uh, if you're using this website, because you can use any other one that you like, and then you can either download it uh, with this link or with this link. So there are two links that you can use to download it with. Um, yeah, you can see mine is already downloaded. So I'm just going to extract it and I'm going to show you how everything looks and where the problems start. Um, so I'm in download mode on my phone. I'm going to show you later how to enter it if you want to uh, flush uh, with a firmware that actually will work on your device. Um, you can see there is the uh, model number in this is the file that I've downloaded and it's G781BXXU. So it's either S or U, it doesn't matter, then one. So it's the oldest version. And I'm gonna right click on it, I'm gonna click on WinRAR and extract to. I'm gonna explain everything later if you don't have WinRAR um, or whatever. Uh, but first I want to show you the error. So, okay, it's almost unpacked. Also, I'll need to, the Adin uh, program. Also, I'll explain Adin later. Um, so, so yeah, mm, the file is getting uh, extracted. Now it is extracted and I can click on BL. You can see my phone is showing up in the uh, zero uh, I, zero ID com free port so uh, I can go to BL and then let's go to downloads let's select uh, the file that is the version 1 and let's select BL file now it is um, up applied let's go to AP let's select it let's apply it now it's gonna w take a bit longer for it to apply of course I'll explain everything, why you're doing it, how to do it uh, later. Now I'm just showing you the error. Okay, now I'm gonna apply the CP version as well. Uh, it's gonna be CP open and the CSC version as well. So let's get that. And now I'm gonna click on start. And it says fail. Uh, it's failed and if I start again it's gonna fail again and that's because the version is incorrect okay now it didn't fail that quickly it's loading it's doing something right now I think that there's already an error showed here Mm, I'm just gonna see what it says. Uh, yeah, it says. Um, I'm gonna turn the brightness up a little bit, and I'm gonna zoom in because the fail also shows on the phone itself. Uh, you can see uh, it says SW revision check fail because uh, the 17 version is the current one, which is the H. And the binary that I um, applied is uh, the version one. So it just doesn't want to work and it's not gonna work. Now I'm gonna show you how to flash your phone with a firmware that works. So now I'm gonna close the Adin uh, program and I'm gonna um, restart the phone. So I'll need to press on volume down and power key for more than three seconds. And I have the correct file already downloaded, so in my case it's the H version, right? Okay, let's wait. Now I'm gonna unplug the cable uh, and uh, yeah. So I should turn the phone off, uh, right? Uh, I'm gonna wait until it turns on and in the process we can already go to our website which is hardware set dot info because here we'll need to download two files go to download and find something drivers first of all uh, just click on download then click on download and then um, unpack them I'll get to that in a moment uh, also on our website on our hardware set website go type in Adin 
and download the newest version which is 3.14.4 click on download and now it's also downloaded now to unpack all the files uh, which are Adin, Samsung drivers and our firmware version uh, we'll need to use a program and I honestly prefer the program which is win-rar.com so you can go here and just download it then install it right and now uh, you after installing it you will be able to right click on the file that you have downloaded go to winrar and select extract to and it's gonna extract it into a folder like this one and now we can go to the something drivers go into that double click on it now click on yes and then go through the whole process As you can see, just click on next a few times, then install. I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it installed. It's worth restarting your computer after downloading the driver. Then let's also, uh, you can right click on the Adin, uh, WinRAR, extract to, and it's gonna do a folder like this. Go into that, go into it again, and select the Adin exe. Go to OK. And now you can see we have the Adin. So uh, this is the program that I've been using. And now uh, you should also extract your file uh, with the correct version. So in my case, it's this one. It says XXSH. Right click on it, WinRAR, extract to. And then uh, you will have a folder like this one. Is this the correct one? Because I have two, right? This is the one and this is the H. So I need to go to the H. And now uh, let's go to our add-in and uh, first we'll need to connect the phone. So um, while pressing and first let's shut it down, power and volume down, then tap on power off and power off again, right? Uh, power and volume down, what I mean by that is just press and hold on those two buttons, power and volume down, to turn the phone off. Now the phone is off, it vibrated, so it's off. And now while it's off, press on volume up and volume down at the same time, and while doing so, connect it to a cable that's already connected to the computer. Mm. And when a green screen shows up like this, a warning, um, and then you can release uh, a volume up and volume down and just shortly click on volume up. Now you're in download mode and it's gonna light up here the ID 0, COM3 or whatever else. It can be like somewhere, somewhere here, right? Uh, now we're gonna click on BL <clears throat> and then uh, go to downloads, go to our correct folder and then go to BL file, select it, click on open, right? Just like that. Then go to AP and select the file that begins with AP. Now the AP file is gonna take a bit longer, um, so I'm gonna get back to when it's applied. Okay, now let's select CP and apply the CP file and the CSC and apply the one that begins with CSC, not home CSC, just CSC click on open and now let's wait a moment and now we have all of them so let's click on start and you can see it works it didn't fail because it is not supposed to fail uh, when there's the correct version uh, so as you can see now um, um, as you can see now, uh, it's doing it. This bar has to come to an end and when it does, then uh, I'm gonna get back to you. And you'll see that the phone will restart by itself. By the way, there is this bar at the bottom going through, which indicates that it's it's working, right? It's It's, it's going through. You can see that it's almost done and now the phone restarts. So it's also gonna take a few minutes even. Um, but after that, everything will be done and the phone will be flashed. So I'm just gonna get back to you when it's done, right? When it's done, so I can unplug the cable 
and the phone um, can be set up. So I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.